The racing industry is in shock after the mysterious death of leading Brisbane jockey Starthy Katsidis this morning. He was found dead by his partner in the house they shared near Eagle Farm Racetrack. Katsidis was due to ride one of the favourites in this Saturday's prestigious Cox Plate at Mooney Valley. Last night, Stardy Casitas and his partner, Melissa Jackson, went out. Just hours later, he was dead. His partner's father is a policeman and says his daughter is in a state of shock. This morning, Melissa tried to wake Staffy and was unable to wake Staffy. And as a result, she's contacted the Queensland Ambulance Service. They have attended and as, as a result, they've been unable to revive Staffy. The talented jockey was facing one of the biggest weeks of his life. His mount for this Saturday's Cox Plate shootout was one of the favourites. He did have problems a while back, but we thought he was all over that, and maybe he was. You know, I, I, I don't know the circumstances of his death. Katsidis had battled with his weight throughout his career. Just yesterday, he recounted how hard it's been. Because I've, I've went so hard over the last 12 months, I've had to give my body a little bit of a breather and, and not ride 53 over the last sort of three months. I've missed a lot of horses because of weight. He'd also faced court on drugs charges. After breaking his leg, he was arrested and found guilty of possessing drugs without a prescription in Toowoomba. Police say there's nothing suspicious about his death. There's no idea at the moment as to the cause of death. It's being treated as a, as a non-suspicious sudden death by the police. But they'll wait for a post-mortem examination to discover just how he died. I think a lot of people are being shocked today because I don't think Staffy had an enemy. You know, he was one of them friendly blokes that helped everyone out. And one of those in mourning is brother Michael Katsidis, who's due to fight for a lightweight world title next month. Glenn Palmer, ABC News.